Hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we have Boba Fett's Throne Room. Set number is 75326. It's going to have 732 pieces and it's going to retail for 100 US dollars. Goes on sale March 1st of 2022. So if you've been following the Lego community, uh, this has already been on shelves for about a week or two now. And in fact, it's already showed up at Costco at a discount at $80. So if you happen to live near a Costco in the United States, you might want to go there to pick up this set. Taking a look at the back of the box, you can see there is quite a lot of features in what is technically Jabba's Palace. We haven't gotten a Jabba's Palace set since uh, 2012. So it's been 10 years. Does this set hold up after 10 years of not getting a Jabba's Palace? We're just going to have to find out. And before we get into the in-depth, I do want to thank LEGO for providing this set for review. Without you guys, let's see what Jabba's Palace or Bib Fortuna's Palace or Boba Fett's throne room is like. I gotta say, this is definitely a better set than I was expecting, so that's a good thing. But like always, let's go ahead and start off with the seven minifigures included in the set. First up is a Quarren. This is the first time we've ever gotten this Star Wars alien, so I'm really happy to see it. It's a great looking minifigure, great torso and leg print as well. Next up is a Weequay Guard, and again, this is another great looking Star Wars alien figure to have in your collection. Dual sided head print, it looks so, so good. After that, we have a Gamorrean Guard with his axe. Looks really great, of course. This is, I believe, the exact same mold that we got from Jabba's Palace from 10 years ago. Blank torso underneath that mold. And then after that, we have the Thelan Dancer. She's popped up in a lot of Star Wars scenes, believe it or not. She even showed up in Revenge of the Sith. Dual sided head print, another great great looking Star Wars figure to add to the collection. After that, we have Fennec Shan. Unfortunately, she does not come with her helmet that you get in the Imperial Light Cruiser set from last year in 2021, but you do get a hairpiece. However, this hairpiece is not exclusive to Fennec. It showed up in the Marvel Eternal sets late last year. And then next we have Boba Fett, of course. This is the same Boba Fett that we got from his Starfighter again from 2021. Unfortunately, still the sand green helmet and jetpack, so it doesn't quite match up with the torso printing being dark green. That's what his helmet should be. And then lastly, we have Bib Fortuna, or the big Bib Fortuna, if you want to call him that. This is a great looking minifigure, brand new head mold, and a great dual-sided headpiece. Now moving on to the throne room now. There is actually a lot of little details to this, which I really appreciate. There's tons of details in Jabba's, or excuse me, Boba Fett's throne room. And as you can see, the first thing is that you can turn those side pieces about 90 degrees. They don't go a full 360. You can't close anything up, unfortunately. Uh, but they do snap in place on the side so that they don't move around while you're adjusting the set, which is nice. I do like that. Next is a printed tile with the TT-8L droid or gatekeeper droid eye that pops out of the door. And you can not only move the eye, but you can of course move the door up and down. There's no mechanism, no geared mechanism. And then there's also a blaster turret on top of the door that you can move around just a little bit. On the reverse side, you'll see there's a control panel. That's how you operate the eye. And then there's also a metallic silver mug chilling right next to the stairs next to a gear piece, which when you turn, you can actually have the stairs kind of drop a little bit and have a minifigure fall over. And then there's also some binoculars up top. The next room features basically two different chairs, a table, and what looks to be maybe a hologram or a bottle, probably a bottle full of certain liquids. And then up top, we have a barrel full of thermal detonators. It's a nice little touch right there. Now moving on to the main part of the throne room, you can see the actual throne itself can be pulled out, revealing a secret compartment of what looks to be some Beskar and some blasters as well. You'll see that there's some Rancor stickers here on the throne itself, as well as some other details on the back. Unfortunately, I didn't get my sticker placement perfect there. Some mugs and seats on the uh, both sides of the throne itself. And then there's also this little lever right here. What that lever does, well, you can take that and throw Bib Fortuna right on off the throne. Nice little feature. And lastly, we have the back compartment where it splits off behind the throne. Uh, revealing what looks to be some like rotisserie chicken right here and then there's also some bones as well as again I assume another drink canister of some type and then on the other side you'll see there's a control panel with like a light of some type on both sides with some other details and bottles as well and lastly unfortunately the roof doesn't come off surprisingly it's not meant to at least so that's the only unfortunate downside in terms of playability with the set all right so coming off the in-depth what are my final thoughts on Boba Fett's throne room? 
So obviously the price per piece ratio is not the greatest on this set. 732 pieces for $100. It's definitely lacking in that area. I think Lego sacrificed piece count to have more exclusive Lego figures in this set, which I think is a good thing. I still don't think it quite makes up the price difference there. I would have liked this palace to be just a little bit bigger. It is a little on the small side. It's not a bad set per se, and it does have quite a lot of features that I do enjoy about it. It does look like a throne room. It does look like Jabba's palace per se. So at least it is recognizable in that standpoint. I do think they could have built it out a little further. So it's unfortunate we didn't see a little bit of a bigger throne room. However, the minifigures are very cool in this set. I really like the choices that they went with. It's a good selection that I know a lot of LEGO Star Wars fans will be pleased with. But does that make up that 20 or so dollar difference of where this set probably should be at. This feels like an $80 or $90 set, definitely not $100. I do really like it though. And I think a lot of you who've been watching Book of Boba Fett or been watching Mandalorian season two will really enjoy this set. And it is a good companion with a bunch of other Lego Star Wars sets like, for example, the $350 Mos Eisley Cantina. I know for sure I'm gonna be putting this next to that set. Let me know what you think down in the comments below of Boba Fett's throne room, guys. Do you think we're gonna be getting actual Book of Boba Fett sets other than the N1 Starfighter later in 2022? Let me know down in the comments below. And a link will be down in the description directly to lego.com where you can purchase this set and get double VIP points at least if you buy it through Lego. So on that note, hope you guys have a great wonderful day and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.